the band concert is quite a high energy, chaotic and beautifully presented Disney short. This is actually apparently the first Mickey Mouse film um, to be produced in colour. So this is the first time we see Mickey in colour. And there is a lot of colour in this. He is the conductor of a band. He's, you know, he's wearing bright reds and you know, he looks fabulous. We also have a few more classic characters in here, namely Donald Duck, who of course is voiced here by Clarence Nash on the odd occasion that he actually does speak and make a noise. And this, the premise is quite simple. And the execution is pretty glorious. So we have this band, this concert being played and conducted by Mickey Mouse. And Donald Duck, who was selling ice creams and popcorn and whatever, decides to interrupt by playing the flute, I believe. Um, it's a wind instrument. And... Obviously, that's causing a big distraction for Mickey Mouse when Donald begins to play Turkey in the Straw. And Mickey Mouse snaps Donald's flute. Oh dear. Not a problem. Donald has another flute up his sleeve, quite literally. And that gets snapped. He has more flutes. And it's largely about Donald trying to disrupt this concert by playing his own music, well, by playing Turkey in the Straw. And then other distractions come in and Mickey Mouse still tries to conduct this concert and you know, um, musicians continue to try and play it and things just get worse and worse and more chaotic and there are even bigger distractions happening. And all the while, of course, the music's increasing in tempo and it's getting more chaotic. There are some fabulous sound effects here that I really love. It's an absolute joy to watch. It is about 10 minutes, um, maybe just under that, which is, for me, one of the longest Disney shorts that I have seen. And there may be ones that are a similar length, but for me it's the longest that I've seen. And it doesn't feel that long. It's over in the blink of an eye. It's The animation style is fabulous. There's a particular moment I like, I don't want to spoil too much, but Donald Duck is entwined in, I don't know if it's like a tree or a branch or something. Um, but you'll know what I mean when you see it. I just love that little animation, it was really nice. Music is brilliant. Uh, it starts off with William Tell Overture, which I love. And it progresses nicely throughout. The songs transition from one another really beautifully. The sound effects are just fabulous. The animation quality, I love. And we have some other uh, kind of prominent characters in here. So we have Mickey Mouse, the conductor. And then we have Goofy playing the clarinet, which... It's pretty interesting to see. He obviously doesn't look like the Goofy that many of us know and love today, but the animation style for him is, is still quite cute. Um, we also have Clarabelle Cloud playing the flute, uh, Horace Horse Collar on percussion, Peter Pig on the trumpet, and a character called Paddy Pig, um, who is playing the tuba. Paddy Pig is not one that I am familiar with. Um, Peter Pig is adorable. We also have an unnamed dog on the trombone, according to IMDb. I'm not sure, to Wikipedia, sorry. I'm not sure if he ever had a name or if it's that we just no longer know what his name is. But if you happen to know any more about that, please let me know. Maybe it was an early version of Pluto. I don't know. But it's very, very cute. I really thoroughly enjoyed this. I really, I cannot fault it, really. It's just fabulous. In terms of being the first Mickey Mouse colour, it's just, it's fabulous fun and, you know, the music is just, it's gorgeous. Definitely one of the, the best edited and well-produced Mickey Mouse shorts that I have seen, but there are many of them. This is the 73rd Mickey Mouse short film that was released, and the second that was released in 1935. It's directed by Wilfred Jackson and Walt Disney. Um, it's beautiful. It's fabulous. If you haven't seen it, check it out. It's on Disney+. Plus. I promise you'll have a lot of fun with this one.